blasted through a coconut in uh, with the um, arms and armor mace before too, in slow motion, and a watermelon. I went a full Gallagher on it. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, everyone, welcome back. Cold Opinion Blade Reviews. Today we have a Cold Steel item. We have the Scottish Broadsword. We've got a really, really sweet basket hilt here. A lot of hand protection. Really good double-edged blade. We'll take a look at some specs on this blade. Do some up-close looks in the scabbard, out of the scabbard. And then we'll run over and do some tatami mat cut testing. Let's get to it. Length of this blade from the pommel. We got a really sweet pommel, actually, with this one. A little bit over 37 inches from the pommel all the way to the very pointy tip. This is a double-edged sword. Did you sharpen this one? Did not. Okay, so this has not been sharpened by Mark. This is the factory edge that we'll be cutting with today. If you do want a sharpening service, you want an extra sharp, click the little uh, check mark when you buy this blade at cultofathena.com. So 37 inches overall length. We have a, a little bit over a 31 inch blade all the way from the beginning of the basket all the way to the very tip and then 37 overall length. All right, this blade overall weight, three pounds, eight ounces. Steel quality, 1055 high carbon steel. If we get up here on the actual basket, got a lot of hand protection here. So if you're out front with this, you might be out in the center line, maybe even nails up. You might be more of a low guard or you might even be up high. Your hand is virtually completely protected. Um, so now we'll do some up close looks of the blade in the scabbard out of the scabbard and then we'll run into some cut testing. All right, so we've got the leather scabbard here. It's just a regular leather scabbard, piece of steel on the handle part, and then steel tip. Let's do some runs up and down of it. There's a little bit of oil on it, so if you see a little bit of like tackiness on it, it's just from me putting this in the grass. Get up in there on the pommel. Pommel's actually pretty sick. Get in there on the handle as well. This is supposed to be like a faux ray skin, so it's got a really good grip to it. And then it's wire wrapped. So if you got a glove on, there is space for your hand to be in there. Like a thin gauntlet would be really sweet. We got a bunch of gauntlets available at cultofthena.com too. A lot of leather goods. So we've got all this. We slide this out of the scabbard, nice and smooth. Drop that to the side, get a look at the blade. Like I said, double edge, factory edge. Again, if you see imperfections on it, I did do a cut with it before we started the video. There's an up close of the knuckle lining. That's if you're coming in, boom, coming through with that. Full hand protection. So now we're gonna take a look at some cut testing with the Scottish broadsword from Cold Steel. We're gonna do some upward cuts, some horizontals, and finish off with the Tommy. Got in the low guard, slash that all the way through, slash that through. And again, we've got the little stakes in here, little nails. This cut stand is available at Colt Athena as well. It's actually really easy to work with. That's a super solid cut. Remember, this is a factory edge. Pull this through, there's another big slash. We go another upward, there's another upward cut. Boom, coming out to that. So we get a close up look at the blade now. See we have just some water on it. We soak these overnight, how you're supposed to with tatami. Make sure you got proper training if you're doing any type of cut testing at all, whether that's with an impact weapon or an edge. But blade feels really good. I didn't feel like my hand was really sliding around or getting any friction with the basket. I know people are gonna ask about that. This is what my knuckles look like after. Sometimes when the baskets are too small, like I have like a regular, like a medium sized hand or whatever. Um, if the baskets are too small, sometimes you'll get friction on the forefinger and like the, the two front knuckles here. But this allowed a lot of space for that as well. All right, so there you have it, cold steel, Scottish broadsword did really well in the cut test thing got a nice edge to it remember this is a factory edge as well so it's not been sharpened did really well with the tatami mats that we have set up with our cut stand here if you need this blade click the link below if you need tatami mats click the link if you need a cut stand click the link all the links are in the description below this video subscribe to the channel like this video 
Also, we just hit 10,000 subscribers last week. So thank you so much for your support. Greatly appreciate it. See you in the next video.